can't force Welcome to, to Open Civil Wars if Part 3. For white run, then we this one's going to be edited. Now, there's a couple of complaints I got. <laughs> uh, it was too long, I can understand. I did not edit that one bit. Um, and the rooms are too dark. But guess what? I like a dark room. I'm using the lighting mod called Lux. Yes, sir. Um, so this is going to be a detailed walkthrough um, tutorial on how to use it. Now, I've only have, all that I know I've learnt myself, and there's possibly still more to know. Um, but hopefully this will be my last video. These, these videos that I've done, the last two of, the, two of these Open Civil War videos that I've done, have got thousands upon thousands of views. Probably, probably because they're the only ones. But leaving long videos with you know, knowledge that I've learnt um, from then to now, leaving those sit there, even though they've got lots of views, is kind of bad because I'm giving people old information or bad quality videos that have to sit through an hour of watching it. So hopefully this one will be probably 20 minutes, probably 30 minutes. I don't know. I just want to get through all the stuff that I'm, you know, that I've thought of the last couple of days. Um, now, this mod, it, it is a massive mod. It it opens up the Civil War big time. You can lose ground, you can win ground, you can use the, the board to kind of help you get an um, an advantage in the actual battles, or you can win cities by the board game. It's there's a lot of choice. You can you can take over entire towns via a ball game without lifting a single muscle, or you can use the ball game to sort of knock out your opponents like towns and their fortifications to give you a better edge in the fighting when you finally do go to that town or city. Um, but this is a tutorial, so first step: do not touch the ball game. Do not touch this board game over here until the Battle of Whiterun is finished, regardless of whatever faction. This right here, do not touch it. Now I've got TM, so my um, thing doesn't come on. I've got a unique Talius with their own armor, and I've got a unique... My bad, wrong one. Legate Ricker and General Talius. Um, so please don't touch this until you finish the Battle of Whiterun. Now, there's a couple things you're going to do before the then, of course, is join your respective faction. For the Imperials, you need to go and take a fort because you're an absolute mad god warrior on your own. You know, you're an absolute champion. You can take a fort on your own. For the milk drinking stormcloaks, you're going to go kill Ice to Wraith. Ooh, scary! Fucking weak sons of bitches. Then you're going to do the Jagged Crown. Now, if you don't already know this and you say you want to change faction or be a traitor or a spy, you can um, do it for whatever faction you want, but then you can hand it into the enemy faction and join their team. So if I join the Empire, and I go to Ulfric and I give him the Jagged Crown, I've then joined the Stormcloaks. I've been like an undercover spy betrayer. And then the Battle of Whiterun. So once the you know, Stormcloaks, you attack it, Imperials, you defend it. Once you've done that, you can proceed to do the ball game. So right now, I'm actually going to go do these quests. I'm not going to you know, put you through that, because it will take a long time and whatever, but once I've done that, I'm then going to go through the ball game with you um, and show you the benefits of how it can, you know, how you can win, how to defend towns, how to basically give you that upper edge in the battles that you physically go to. So if you don't mess around with the ball game at all on this and you decide to go you want to attack Dornasa, you're going to have a, a massive sort of debuff to your troops because the ball game is important to a degree. Anyway. I will um, get this done, I'll get these three quests done, hopefully you do too, and then once I finish the Battle of Whiterun, I will show you more on the ball game. See us then. Understood, sir. Alrighty, so, we're here there to do the ball game. So, it's been updated since my last video. So, make some things clear. Oh fuck, they're always in the road. Um, do not install this game mid playthrough, this mod, um, Open Civil Wars. And don't, touch the, and don't touch the Civil War war board until the Battle of Whiterun. And you're good to go. So, whatever. We're going to click on you. And we're going to go to COC um, Whiterun um, Dragon's Reach. Because they're always in the road there. It's fucking annoying. Um, they're always talking, they're always knocking you out of the road. At least with White Run or a fort, you don't have to worry about getting annoyed.
but you still need to talk to General Talius when uh, this all fails. Or it doesn't really fail, you kind of run out of turns. So, we'll get there, we'll talk about it. Alrighty, let's find our way to the board game. Up top. Alright, so, we got old skill, which is the old way. I don't want to do that. I'm going to hit OK. Alright, clear on again, we'll update the map. It's all backwards at the moment. Standard war game. I have to do a little bit of war game. Because it kind of... It's a bit fun. Alright, so how do you operate this war game? Everyone, when the war game starts up, everyone's going to have one banner for the Stormcloaks and one Corriot for the Imperials. So, there's two ways of moving. You can click on the flag and get the information. Um, the city, the hold, and how many troops you got. And then you go manual, and then you move it over to... We're going to use... We're going to... Uh, I don't know. So, I like to think about it as a strategic sort of thing, as you want to take out its outside defences before you hit the city itself. Right? So, firstly, I'm going to want to hit the town, because I would imagine it would be the less defended. Now all I had to do, and we lost that, that would be typical. All I had to do was um, click on that and hit manual. But you can move shit so much quicker just by clicking on the helmet, which is this, you got Imperial ex Auxiliary, and then you got four grey mills. So click on the helmet, open up the inventory. Only use that if you want to end your turn, but don't really need that. And click on the enemy helmet and exit the inventory. Alright, so we keep losing. I don't really find any good sort of luck um, attacking this day one because it's 1v1 oh it looks like we actually rated it we actually won West one door. Um, let's try again with a solitude should be the best and finest imperial soldiers has to offer our provisions are running dangerously low all right we lost our so anyway i don't want to keep yeah you know, i don't really see much happening there oh, my bad click on the flag and pass if you pass the you troops you'll see your helmets will get bigger my lord. God damn it, that's Since fucking great. Storm Cloak's uprising, the cost of goods has doubled. I'll need more coins. Alright, apparently the Storm Cloaks did nothing. They didn't want to do a shit. So we're going to take Dawnsight easily because they haven't done much. So we've got the biggest white run for us here. We're going to go right here. We're going to easily take it. Boom. Raided. We're going to send these guys into Dawnsight. This might be a challenge. Alright, we won it. As you can see, Jarl Exiled, the Pale turns over to the Legion. So, it's now storm, uh, Imperial controlled. Now we can try our luck, but as you can see right here, oh, that's Wind Helm. Um, probably the most lightly defended hold in all of Skyrim has to be Winter Hold. But we don't really want to win it, we want to do something, yeah, we want, we want to attack it, or at least take its defense. So we want to take Fort Kastav. Um, won't say it again, Pignar. Talos worship is forbidden. It's the Empire's law, and we're still a part of the Empire. Alright, we lost that, it was 9-11, holy fuck, that's bad. Alright, we keep losing, which this is a great example. <laughs> One more try. Lost, alright, we keep losing this shit. Alright, so we can't progress on the ball game to take, um... To take Winterhold. So what we're gonna do... Now, I think I've got the Cities of the North mods, so I don't think I've got the Open Civil Wars patch for them, but we're going to see how it all goes. So, I'm just going to move this prick to me, because again, I don't want to travel all the way to the thing. By holding on to Falkreath, we control access to the Reach, White Run, and the Rift. So you've got things here, this is the vanilla right here, I'll send you, but normally I think you'll send you to Winterhold anyway, but we're going to go, let me suggest, mm -hmm. you get to pick where you want to go, Rift, Winterhold, boom. There's not much up there. You're needed in Winterhold. God be with you. Yes, sir. So, General Leggett Ricker will end up walking out of the cell when you get your orders from him in solitude, and she'll get she'll make a move there. But you'll get there before. All right. Yes. So I let's get there and have a look. Make the. Alrighty, here we are. So this is the uh, Winterhold Imperial camp. Keep an eye out. Keep your guard. Now, it's only a matter of time. If Leggett Ricker has not yet arrived. Uh, <laughs> arrived. We get like a little invisible marker pointing absolutely nowhere. Don't fret, she's on her way. But we're gonna go talk to this idiot. Quest door. 
say I need Legget Ricker here in this camp. Stay sharp. And she'll arrive once you wait now. Wait to get one of those rebels. Alrighty, I waited two hours and here she is. Legget Ricker. Now, there's a couple options. You can um she'll give you an option to battle city. I don't really want to try that because we could win. It's very doubtful. But I'm going to save it right here as save test, in case we do. Um, so we can physically fight there because that is half the fun of this mod. You don't want to just board game this shit. There's also a defense sort of system too, so the storm cloaks take over your stuff. But we will get there sooner or later. We just got to save my gear and then we're up to go. Alright. Something to report? So reporting for duty. If you're getting smashed and you can't beat this, this is what you pick. This is this is what you pick. This will put you into the vanilla fort battle, which is a guaranteed win. But that's only if you just are getting bored and you can't beat it and your troops keep getting slaughtered. I'd highly suggest um, open civil on oh open civil. That's the mod we're doing. Um, Skyrim at war because it's going to increase the, the soldiers. It's going to make them better, bigger. As you can see out there, that's a common imperial soldier, but he's wearing heavy armor. Greetings, your auxiliary has arrived to save the day once more. Oh, that's fucking, that's flirting. That's another mod. <laughs> um, command. It's time to commit our military service. Just hold, command. Well, soldier, are you up for the task? It'll tell you to save, which is always a good idea. To battle, but I'll attend the wounded tent. We do this for the that's good weak. of Skyrim You're and the Pussy people. centaurs. Never forget that. What are you looking at? No, you're one eye. So, I don't really use this, I've never really actually used this, and I don't know how long it takes. But we're just going to idle around, there we go, complete regain the whole. Legion, Corret, Stormcloaks, um, the die is cast, holy shit, the whole resisted. So we got Butch, that's quite simple, we got absolutely flayed alive. Because the odds aren't in our favour, we don't own any territory here. So we're going to go back. Alrighty, so, now, we won the last battle, oh, sorry, we lost it, we got absolutely pooned, that's because we don't own all that, let's have a look at the flag here. So, since the Stormcloaks have a very well defended line in Winterhold, West door. it's going to be really hard for us to at least win this battle, uh, because we're going to have greater odds. Stay sharp. The General so, and I have our disagreements, but he's the best hope for both the Empire and Skyrim. Cancel. All right. So let's many get into of my it. countrymen joined the rebel. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? Show the rebels the futility of their cause. A house. All right. They're going to ignore that. Hopefully, they won't die though. So we'll actually win this. Oh my god, bro, she's naked. Disable. <laughs> Oh my god. Enable. Yeah, well, it's really hard working with these girls because they just want to fucking be naked all the time and get my road and shit. Is that an Imperial soldier? Is that a Stormblake soldier? I'm so confused. I'm staying up. Oh, boys, I'm here. Hey. 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 Hello. 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 Hey, hello. There we go. Fucking Jesus Christ, mate. Well, these look like Civil War soldiers. They're not affected by the mod at all. By the looks of it, because they look like the stupid typical um, soldier. So we haven't lost any yet. These are definitely your typical mundane dummy soldiers. To try and kill as many of them before they kill as many of my boys. One shot and you probably die. I don't know why, he made this mod around Open Civil Wars, but these guys are not Open Civil Wars. I'm sorry. These guys are not Skyrim at War soldiers. Their gear's better, for one, but their... Their, um... Troops are still stupid. Outnumber them, you dumb dogs. Oh my god, no. Save your life, you'll die soon anyway. See, look at that. Attackers. And we're losing really, like, we're losing shit fast. Yeah. Another naked person? Bruh, come on. 
I'm gonna walk away from it. <laughs> I don't want to like continuously delete him, but he still might lose anyway. But anyway, I'm gonna see if we lose or win because there's no doubt one of these naked chicks is gonna turn up and absolutely just fucking spoil the video. So I'll get back to you if, of course, they do naked in front of me. All right, well, actually we won. Attack is 50. Storm Plokes, 5%. So, voila. Now we're going to go back to Talius, and he'll... I've got to find out. Is that place loaded yet? It has. Fuck me, that's weird shit. We're going to get back to Talius, and tell him that we've won. Huzzah! Well, all right. Um, so if we leave this place and we come back, so let's give it a shot. I'm not sure it happens straight away. Because for some reason it doesn't, but normally when the game it's meant to reload, you come back and it's going to have Imperial Soldiers. It will be Imperial Controlled, but I haven't noticed it change straight away. I think the city or the town is to respawn, which is kind of stupid because seven days without any guards is kind of stupid. Um, but we're going to test it. So I've reloaded, uh, well I haven't necessarily reloaded, I've come back to Winterhold after we won it and it's now guarded by Imperial soldiers that are currently freaking out. There's Stormflies coming in for the attack by the looks of it and they're naked. Man, I've got to sort this shit out. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Now this is going to happen of course because uh, Skyrim at War is going to have trolls coming in. That's it. Alright, so let's go up to the, um, whatever it's called now. Uh, has it got a map marker? No? Man, this Falkreath one has a map marker. That's just fucking rude. That's way too much cardio, bro. Nobody likes cardio. Not even pixel cardio. I've never been in here before, eh? I've never actually been to... Well, this is the first time in my game that I've actually been here. It's gonna be the first time in this new keep. So, we're going to go see and have a look if um, the new, I, I think it's a, no, who's the new dudes? I don't even know why, because I don't know how Winterhold is Can still a hold. It's a piece of shit. It's literal garbage. <laughs> oh. You're going fancy. Now, I don't know if the Jarl's actually moved in. My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking with travelers. He stays the Jarl no matter what. Until next time. Uh, here we go, Imperial Guards. An Imperial Legat. So, definitely under... Alright. So, what we're going to want to do now, we're going to want to let the Stormcloaks attack us. Update the map by clicking on it. Doesn't matter which, it might give you a message like a pop up once you've done it. Okay, let's just go pass. They're just idling by, they're just gaining their troops, and so we're going to do the exact same thing. Oh no, Imperials, Falkyries is untested. So this is another cool thing. They've invaded Falkrip, they haven't taken it over, it's a blue red flag. They haven't done anything with it though. Just a pain in the ass, they haven't even taken any troops. So, this is another part of the mod which is a, which is a bit of fun. Um, they're going to go to Falkreath, and we're going to talk to the commanding officer there. I'll uh, see you there. Here we are at the cities of the north, Falkreath. Absolutely fucking beautiful. It even feels bigger. I've got so many nude post traumatic stresses now that I thought that target was actually a nude NPC. So, it's now, his fort's now being put on a mountain. But this one has a map marker. And even less cardio, which is a pain in the ass. And you really need a map marker, you nude. Like, nobody wants to spend 30 seconds running up a goddamn mountain. 
I wonder what he'll do that he's running out of now smaller holes. Is he going to go to towns and cities and shit? Uh, has, uh, hasn't he done a, that with a couple of them? I swear to God he has. Or well, someone else has. Alright, so the Imperial Commander will be up on like the second floor, which is a pain in the fucking ass, man. It really is. He's all the way up there you can through a couple buildings. Now, this did bug at me before. There is a there is a patch for this to have open civil wars for the cities of the North Falkreath. Um, they didn't attack straight away for some weird reason. My game could have been bugged out. Um, that was a while ago, but we'll find out. Alright, I had to edit the last bit out because... Um, Fuck you, uh, they're, all, they're, all, they're all stupid. Half of them are naked and they won't move from their AI position for some reason. Something's bugging them out. So, as we can see with Felfreath right here, she is currently fucked. Now, how do we start this? We're going to set game hour, hour to uh, 10. Okay, cancel. So what we do to have an in-game city battle is we go up and talk to this guy. Questor. Give us some bullshit words that we'll cut from the game, but they mean nothing. I've got my hands full with something. Don't go far. I'll need you soon. First, we need to limit Stormcloak capacity and send them a not-so-subtle message by sabotaging a resource they claim to control. Then there's a little matter of some recruiting. I have someone in mind I'd like to join our campaign. Wouldn't this be nice? Mm -hmm. It's actually in the base game. Alright, it normally tells you exit the Jarl's Longhouse, the defense battle will start now. So, we're just going to fast travel out. When it started, I had a bit of bugging around, it was kind of a weird... I just walked to the back over here, because I noticed all the Felbrith guards have completely vanished. And um, so this is going to start, we're going to yeah. not intervene at all, let the Stormplakes do their thing. If they win, they win. If they lose, they lose. But it was a pain in the ass, man. This. Alright, we're getting slaughtered. So we had, like, it said when the battle started, we had, like, a minus 25%. So for some reason, they're just gonna fucking stomp us. And as you can see, we're badly losing. It might be just an issue with. I've, I've now got the. Patch. I had to install the patch for his open civil war. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah. Attackers are falling quite a bit. There's a naked bloke right here. I have to edit. Man, I fucking hate editing, dude. I really do. Why do these soldiers keep missing their gear? That's what you get. The prick. Alright. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. He was naked. Wait, well, fuck you, dude. Alright, so Storm Flakes 1 and Storm Mix. Leave. Time to get out of town, go smoke a few darties. Someone's still mad at me over here? No, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we've now lost this. We're going to fast travel away and we're going to fast travel back. But Felcreth with um, open cities, or cities of the north, sorry, might change a bit depending on um, the mod. This, this city has never properly, properly worked for me in states where I've had to like wait a very long time or some crazy shit. Could be a position thing, because it tells you to leave the Jarl's um, thing. And, and I do that, but I, I kind of... doesn't work for the cities of the north, so I run to where the old one was and it kind of started there. So I'm going to fast travel away, I'm going to fast travel back. So I've come back to uh, Felcreath after it's now Stormcloak control. There is no Stormcloak guards. He is still out here like he's ready to throw down. I think, and I don't, there is a patch for it, and I don't know if it's taken full place yet. But I'm going to be honest, man, I really don't think you should spend, if, if, you've, got, if you've got Cities of the North, Falkreath, just do it via the ball game, or do it via a city battle, because it is, it's fucking weird. It just doesn't work how you really want it to. you got to be standing somewhere 
because naturally the old forts with old moon halls here and then I always for some reason the quest started over here that vampire's got no feet um, and he's still here like he's in the midst of the battle which is very odd anyway we're gonna go talk to Talio CFC Solitude Castle Dower that's because my save at the moment is kind of cooked it's just weird I don't know what the hell happens my loading whenever I enter a building or like an auto save it turns into like a, a three minute wait which I'm not a fan of doing so we're going to fast travel, we're going to check the map out, we're going to see if it's officially lost. Those idiots might stay there forever. Until of course it's retaken by the Empire. Alright, as you can see, Valkyrie. Now that we have Winterhold, I can garrison some troops there. Battles are won by trained and disciplined men. I'm raising you to Prefect. Take this blade as a gift and symbol of your new rank. You've earned it. So, I really Prefect. don't want to fuck around with that. To be honest with you, man, it's just going to be a messy situation. So, we're just going to... Now, what you can do, you can talk to him and you can go and fight for, for it back. But, but I'm going to save the fighting for taking over an enemy town when they take over one of the big towns, like, um... Or Markarth, someone they can really take over. So, you'll take this back. As you can see, we haven't completely taken it because they've still got structures out here. So we've got to kind of just muscle in. Should be ours. Yep, there you go. It's now Imperial. So back to Imperial control. Ignore that. Now, you might notice in certain places, it's not here on the map, but like you might see a Stormcloak helmet on a... Um, on a red flag. doesn't mean the Stormflag soldiers are actually going to be there. It's just simply a board thing. I would love that if, if, if that was a feature. So, we're going to go auto, see what this crazy shit does. Well, apparently we passed. So they're going for, for Markarth. Yep, that was pretty fucking easy. Uphale and Winterhold. Lost Winterhold, and I think we might have lost. Now we still got a big fort there. So we've taken over Winterhold again. Um, it's our go. As you can solely look at the size of that monster. It's contested properly this time. Probably we're going to pass again. All right, we're going to auto. We'll see what we can do because it did nothing last time. Just because there's a helmet there doesn't mean it's controlled by us. Or by the um, if you go there, but you still have. Stormflag soldiers. Taking back our shit. Oh, where are we going for Windhelm, are we? A bit greedy. They go for Windhelm, they go for Whiterun for some reason, even though they don't need to. But we can't lose it, so it's just more of like, they've just got more troops. <laughs> I don't think they got it. I don't like the odds of fighting the right Valkyries. Fucking back and forth going on here. Alright, lost Felfreath again. <laughs> we just got it back, we just lost it. I want I wanna lose Markarth because then we can have like an actual proper battle. So we're gonna oh Maybe not, eh? We've got some strong defences. Oh. 
Taking back our shit. Mate, your little helmet isn't gonna do fucking shit. We control Dawnstar. They might be Tristle trying to go for Dawnstar. Because they've got too many big helmets, too many banners at Riverwood. And we're just going to go back and forth pretty much. Um, Under our control. So where's Good Day and Bandit Forts? Now, if Skyrim at war, these Bandit Forts are normally controlled by a certain faction. But if not, they're still going to have bandits there, regardless if you have an Imperial or a Storm Cloak flag there. Or like helmet. Man, can you use sons of bitches? Take fucking. Or I'm going to have to use some cheats for this. Because, honestly, we're doing. Fuck all. Put on the flag. Okay, auto. I kind of just want the storm place to come in and take something. have to just pass next time, see if they fucking actually make a proper move. So I think they'll, I think they'll go back for Dawnstar first and they'll just take out the White Run territory. I'm gonna go for Felkreath. There is a city defense battle, so your capital can be attacked, but they need to own uh, a town right up the side. So for them, for me to have a civil, uh, like a like a solitude battle, I need to own Morphal. All right, let's pass. Oh. <coughs> They're moving in. Oh, oh, oh shit. Them banners. Bloody hell, mate. They've been conquering. They conquered the pale, so that now it's under their control, even though the flag's wigging out. They did squat all, apparently. How about this? There's no legged Ricker knocking me around. She must be at a fort somewhere. Is it my go or is it their go? My god. Pass. I don't think they're going to make a move with that helmet. It's getting too big. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Legion raised two Corriots. Stormcloaks are on the move. They're probably going to do the exact same thing because it's at a now disadvantage to them. Alright, fucking let's do it. Why well, can't I access? Alright, since you can't access them, I've got to click on the flag, manual. This is the one over Holy shit. Smack him around. Smack him around. You lost! Fucking dickheads. Manual. And it should be back under our control. No, unless this place right here is somehow related to... Where's another big helmet?
Mate, come on. Alright. There we go. Back under Imperial Control. So, there are cheats for this. Let me go and show you what effect they do take. Um, it's, it's good for role playing. And in fact, where you don't want the Civil War to start, you know, like, you can just be stuck here forever. So you can use it for two reasons. You're bored shitless of being stuck in the one spot, and you, you don't want to keep fighting. Or, you can do it to have a, like, sort of role play experience where the war comes back and forth, back and forth. You lose territory, they gain territory. You know, they, you give them the odds of 10,000, and the Imperials will just sweep through the entire map. And then you can give the enemy the odds of 10,000, and they'll sweep through the entire map. So I'll go get them for you. Alrighty, so, how you do this? Ugh. So, say you want to absolutely poon, and say, say you're an Imperial, um, you go, set O Civil War, so OCW, War Game, Empire, Bias to, let's go 1 million. I uh, don't really know the numbers I just put in there. But, we're always going to win. So, this little help, where's the, where, there you go, there's one right there. So, we're going to send our littlest battalion up against the big one. Fucking get him. Can't touch the little ones. Alright, no. It's too little. Okay, I think I can touch this one. No, anyway. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright, okay. Manual, and we're going to send him up against the massive one here. Rated. As you can see, absolutely butcher, mad. Minus <laughs> 9,000. So, no matter what, you're going to win. Um, if I change it to minus, you'll see the storm flags are just going to ravage us. I think. I'm not going to do another minus, but I don't think I've got to. Pass. Alright. Uh, where are they? They're just, yep, they're smacking us around. For some reason, they decided to stop there, which is a bit silly. Oops. Oh, I'll show you. Anyway, I've got the grab an Imperial Troop and show you the odds. Cancel. Now let's get my biggest helmet and go up against their smallest one. Okay, manual. Like I said, if you can't touch the helmet, then touch the flag. And we lost because they have the greatest odds. So this is a way to get past the ball game if you're having trouble. Or to let the enemy just come in and smash you. If you want to go back and forth. So if I say I'm setting up a battle for my soldiers, and I want to take and I want them to take fog priest, so I can have a battle there, then I'll just keep passing and they'll just keep smacking me around. Hopefully. Or they'll decide to go, fuck you, I won't intervene with you. Pass. Honestly, you guys are being dogs. They're doing nothing. Or maybe if I auto on them, maybe if I attack them back. <laughs> Everything I do is going to fail. <laughs> so yeah, I'm losing all my defense because all my big helmets are going for the little ones. Or, you know, it's absolutely, there you go, enemies conquered the reach. So, with that, we're going to set it back to zero, because if I go there, I'm pretty sure it takes actual precedence in the battle. I'm not too sure. But we're going to have a reach fight. Alright. So, talk to... We need to stem the flow of silver to the rebellion. Prefect. We're going to attack the reach. We need to stem the flow of silver to the rebellion. Hurry over to our military... Yes, Emperor. sir, Commander Wander. All right, so I'm going to meet you at the Reach camp, and then we'll get started. Sent to the Rift camp, even though we're going to take the Reach, but it could be because she's here, but it could be because it's bugged out and wants me to take the Rift. Still, Can't it's going to give me a city battle. Station not too bad. Um, Keep your guard up. Find out if it's actually going to work. So, what, what does this one says? Regain the Reach. Uh, I don't know what she's doing. If she wasn't in the fort, you know, it was rather peaceful. There was no chatter and 
they're getting annoyed, so it's probably because we're gonna fast travel away. It, it, I don't know. I don't know why the hell she came here because there was no mission to come. Keep an eye out for one of those rebels. It's only a matter of time. Meet the Imperial Dissimilar Officer. Oh, where's that sending me to? All right, it is sending me to the beach. Alrighty, here we are. Is that going naked? For fuck's sakes, man! I'm so tired of this shit. Fuck you. Kill. You fucking drongo. Alright, so you yeah, talk to this guy, we're gonna be fighting some people. I don't know why they're in the defense mode, because that's where they normally stay. And they're defending, but we're gonna be attacking the city. I can't tell who's who. And he's gonna be naked. This guy's naked. They're all fucking naked. Idiots. There's something critically wrong with this game. Slow the attackers, so it is. This is where one side is. I'm not confused to do a lot of defense missions. Dude, for fuck's sakes. I'm gonna like karate punch this game. I'm sick of seeing this. Give me some fucking naked chicks. I've never seen a naked fucking chick. It's just a bug out of here. Where's God? If I could have got God mode on, eh? That'd be fun. That's another fuck with his cock out. Kill or no? Mate, if you're wondering if my game hasn't crashed yet, well, I'm wondering the same thing. Followers into this, none of us can be alive, bro. Not a single one. <laughs> Fucking hell, set AV <laughs> player, set AV, melee damage, so this one is impairment. Anybody surviving this, this time at all. This is fucking intense, bro. Look at my UI. I don't think my UI. This is fucking nuts. No, it's just like a photo. This is nuts. Are, are they ever gonna run out of troops, bro? I don't imagine anybody winning this fight. I really don't. Like, this is intense, bro. This might be overkill. I was like, going on. Well, my game is down to shit at the There's way too much shit going on. That might be it right there. Nah, she's still going strong. Fuck off, horse, I'm gonna kill you. For oh, fuck sakes, bro. Jesus. Where are the bitches with their ass and tits at, bro? Honestly, I'm sick of this gay shit. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm getting pooned by hundreds of fucking arses. I'd highly advise not to do this. Now, how do you get this gay safe? It's I think you literally have to go in here. Yep. Such a pretty shade of red. Man, no wrong. 
quite colourful. I'm a dead hundred killing machine, I cannot be killed, even though I should have died a million fucking years ago. Saying dicks. Show me some fucking titties, bras. Now where is this next one? I don't Force Jal Silva surrender, so we're gonna go into town. Fuck all these wankers. Maybe they're despawned. I'm gonna have amaze my game hasn't shit itself yet. I am absolutely amazed that this new build is um model organizer build is just like this could change entering the city. <laughs> Very well could change. I could get an unlimited loading screen, but I probably would have killed over 60 people there. Probably more than that. Like, I'm I'm dead set surprised NPCs went floating away. I've never successfully attacked a city ever, um, even before the mod Skyrim War. And I don't even know if that. Like, I'm not too sure if that. I'm not sure if defending it's, it's like a great choice because. Honestly, if they're going to have that many Imperial soldiers outside the gate, because the mod description for Skyrim at War basically says there'll be shit tons of Imperial soldiers or Stormblake soldiers there to defend against the Force of War invasions, nobody's going to be able to take that, bro. No one's going to take <laughs> Mark Arthur at all. Alright, so um, we're going to load into the Battle of Mark Arthur. Now, this is the one you can actually where you can actually lose your troops. Because for some reason I failed randomly. I have no idea what for, but we were just in the midst of battling and it said uh, mission complete. It wasn't really complete, it was failure. And return to General Tullius. And it said failed to gain the breach or something. So you can actually lose in combat against um, Stormcloaks and stuff like that while you're inside the city. So the main goal is to get into the keep and make the Yarl surrender since it's a city battle. Um, but I'm also intrigued to see if we can do it the vanilla way. So say you're having too many problems, you can't get through the gate, you can't sustain the losses inside the city. I want to see if we can have a defense battle, like a vanilla one. But you should be able to, because I'm pretty sure you can hand the reach off to the Stormcloaks, so you're able to attack the fort. Yeah, you should be able to. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be fine. We'll, we'll do that. It's a guaranteed win. When, when you don't attack the forts and the cities and that sort of stuff. We'll see if we win this though. Fight! Holy shit! Attackers at a zero percent. My fucking arm is really itchy right now. I don't know why. Yep, failed apparently. So I guess if you don't have enough by the time you get in. You fail. Hey, look, mate. Fuck all yous. I'm out of here. So, I'd highly suggest, um, if you're having issues, do the vanilla. Go up to Legat Ricker or Trollbane and go reporting for duty. And they will send you on a mission. I'm not too sure if this one has a, like, personal mission. It very well might. But... Simply do the, the, the don't do the city battle um, and go and attack the actual fort. Once you've taken the fort over, you've completed the mission like you would in vanilla. And Mark Hearth becomes yours. Anyway, I hope this is uh, <laughs> someone helped you guys. I want to deal with these motherfuckers real quick and then we have a little bit of a chat on what I've covered, hopefully. What I want is some fucking sweet rolls, mate. Okay, I'm more than a beast dragonborn right now. Wait, oh yeah, still, still attacked him when I jumped. That was neat. Yeet! He's gone. Yeet! Fuck's sake, so many archers are there. Anyway, so hopefully I've covered um, how to use a ball game, um, how to attack, how to defend. Um, just a big city defense. <laughs> oh my god. Um, 
big city defense, that sort of thing. How to conquer it, if I haven't showed you how to do it, but you should know yourself. If you can't physically beat the battle, go and talk to your commander while you're at the camp and ask them to do reporting for duty. If that doesn't show, which happened to my old saves when I was running on Nexus Mod Manager, save the game, reload it, and it should appear. Saving for duty, um, reporting for duty. And once you complete the fort takeover, you've done it. I sometimes even roleplay to the point to where I want a massive big battle. Like, I could go and take the fort over, but I've, I've picked up the city battle. Is that Ricker? I've picked up the city battle at the same time, so I've gone reporting for duty. I'll go, yep, take the city, then I'll talk to Ricker again, and I'll go um, reporting for duty. So I can have like a massive, immersive battle at the fort, and then come and take the city over. And it doesn't matter if I fail in the city or not, because I've already taken the fort. And the mod will tell you that. It will say, city battle is unimportant, you've taken the hold. Um, yeah. Anyway, so there's, there's a couple of things, if, if the model is watching this one, my third one, bloody hell, I would like to see, hopefully, if you back into your mod, um, I'd really like to see the uh, like the ability to physically attack towns and and um, have forts not the way they are like the vanilla like I want to attack the fort because again if you can't bid on the board game I'd love to do it in real time because if you go and attack a city they control all the defenses you have a very big disadvantage uh, on attacking their enemy I would love to physically if the board game is not going to work I would love to march onto a, a town hit the town like raid the town like a raider kill all the guards, take the town over, and then take the fort over, or even the bandit fort, and take the bandit fort over. Physically have my troops there until the mission's complete, and then the, you know, the guards return to Imperial or original guards, instead of Stormcloak guards, or whatever. Um, and the band, the, the fort, the bandits owned will be abandoned, you know, they'll be all dead until they respawn, and yeah, I'd love to physically be able to take that over. Also, Battle of Whiterun, I've probably mentioned this a few times in the video, I would love for what run to be lost because it doesn't really matter once you've completed the Dragonstone quest um, if that's if you haven't started live another life or if you haven't got that mod it doesn't really matter because I'm pretty sure that Vignar who takes over for the Stormcloaks has the same sort of quest and dialogue to support the dragon Dragonborn um, trapping Odive in but it doesn't really matter because if you play the Skyrim uh, vanilla start from Helgen even if you're an Imperial or a Stormcloak and you go to bring the message to or from Ulfric, um, Bolgrif will say no, that you need to help me with the dragon problem and you have to go and kill the dragon uh, that's, you know, that's burning the watchtower. And it doesn't matter what faction you are, he'll give you that mission, you've got to go do it. And then it reveals you to be the Dragonborn. And once that's done, it doesn't really matter anymore because the next quest involving them will be... Um, I'm pretty sure it will be finding Odive in. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this, this video. I have certainly not. <laughs> um, I hope it's a lot more informative. If there's still some questions, let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be helpful um, for me and you. Anyway, guys, peace out. I hope this has helped. Don't get Rona. Don't get syphilis. Maybe get some crabs, it's good protein. Oh fuck, I've already said that. Ah, oh, well fuck you all. <laughs> Have a good one.